Hi everyone, it's me Sanghi and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Uh, actually no, welcome to my first ever podcast. So yeah, this might be <laughs> this might be quite surprising for a lot of you guys, but yes, I have officially started my own podcast. <laughs> and in this video, the story of my life i'm going to be sharing with you guys uh, some you know glimpses and episodes of my life before i was on youtube i was born on august 38 1997 and guys i'm going to insert like a uh, what do you call it a slip out here okay which i found few years ago when i was like uh, arranging documents in my mom's uh, cupboard okay and when i was like you know going through that slip i came to know that i was like a very heavy child when i was born you know i was i weighed 4.25 kilo uh, so yeah that was a little bit um you know detail about my birth and then from the year 1987 till 1999 i guess yeah 1997 1998 1999 uh, we were living in penlong yeah four of us my mom dad my brother and me we were living in this place called penlong and at the time we were living in a rent house uh, the reason why we were living in penlong che because my dad's duty was in pangthang so my dad was in sikkim armed police you know and then penlong is quite close to pangthang and we were there for almost two and a half years or something like that and then later on in the late 1999 or say like early 2000 we moved to martam in the year 2000 my mom along with her two sisters they started a hostel okay like a hostel facility and the name of uh, my mom's hostel was rising sun hostel uh, in the year 2001 I also started going to school which is lower kg and you know? so from lower kg to class 10 so for almost not almost but for 12 years I did my schooling from St Joseph School Martam only and then 2002 ko late uh, 2002 or there uh, my mom and dad they started building house in Martam in 2003 ko mid or late 2003 when I was in class 1 I remember like mera halka like you know I have that vivid memories okay so yeah we moved into our new home here in Martam and at the time we only had one story home my mom was still running the hostel at the time so yeah that's how like we slowly you know uh, settled down here in martam itself in 2005 when i was around class 3 or like class 3 or thereje i adopted my first pet which was a dog and i named it tommy okay i i'm going to insert pictures here of tommy so tommy was my first ever pet and then tommy was with us for almost 2 years and then 2007 mache tommy passed away uh, which was so sad and it was my first time actually witnessing the death of someone so close to me someone that i loved so dearly from class 4 onwards i even uh, started taking part in like elocution competition elocution is basically a poetry reciting competition and then along with that i also used to play a lot of sports during my school days eh? and then every time it was sports day i used to participate in running race and uh, surprisingly i always won a position in running race eh? i have like uh, certificates you know so one time i even represented my school so from our school when i was i think around class 8 or 9 uh, our sports teacher he selected three boys and two girls i was one of those girls and we represented our school to go to tna and as we were like you know warming up our our turn was about to come so we were like warming up and there were several other girls from other different schools also and i remember one girl she was like barefoot okay she was barefoot okay and then warm up garda garda she you know how running shoes and all could they have spikes no in front <sighs> i stepped on her thumb okay and the spike le che literally usko thumb ma che isto hole bhayo in a hole bhayo and blood started coming out kyu and i i think she had to withdraw from that round i feel so sorry kyu and while i was running also i think tyu kura le pani mentally i was little bit disturbed you know ki like la because of me this another uh, fellow runner she got injured banera kyu i was uh, like 
के भन्नु आई वाज सरी आई वाज शॉक्ड हैन सो या दैट ह्यापेन्ड सेभेनमा व्हेन आई रिच्ड क्लास सेभेन इट वाज अराउन्ड टू थाउजन्ड एन्ड नाइन है इट वाज टू थाउजन्ड आई वाज एन्टरिङ माइ यु नो अर्ली टिन एज इयर्स है सो या आई वाज नो आई वाज ट्वेल्भ इयर्स ओल्ड या सो आई वाज एन्टरिङ माइ अडोलसेन्सको एज हैन एन्ड आई बिकेम अ फ्यान अफ जस्ट इन बिबर सो आई वाज अफेक्टेड बाई द बिबर फिभर क्यो एन्ड आई रिमेम्बर लाइक क्वारलिङ विथ द गाइज इन माइ क्लासरुम बिकज दे यूज टु टिज मी फर बिइंग अ जस्ट इन बिबर फ्यान लाइक ओ हिज यस्तो क्यो के टी जस्तो लाइक द लाइक दैट हैन एन्ड देन आई यूज टु फाइट ब्याक ओ या इन क्लास सेभेनमा चाहिँ अनादर फनी इन्सिडेन्ट वाट ह्यापेन वाज I got a very embarrassing haircut. So one time I went with my dad. We went to a salon, you know, and then along my dad was getting haircut this side. I was getting haircut the other side. About that time, we didn't go parlor and all that, okay? So this uh, barber, I told him to give me a mushroom cut because that was my signature haircut, no? But then he gave me a boy's cut. I had so much faith in him and you know for like my whole class 7 8 I used to be called with so many different nicknames and all especially with these guys in my classroom I don't know why this uh on journey this teenager boys are so much interested in teasing and calling girls with nicknames and all I used to be so irritated and I used to fight back uh now that i think about it it is so silly ya yeah? we were just kids another incident which happened in 2009 uh when i was in class 7 is that my dad okay he won the 10th mr sikkim ka title so my dad he currently is a strength lifter but then he started his sports ka career with bodybuilding and he was actually doing bodybuilding for quite a long time and then finally 2009 match my dad won the 10th mr sikkim title okay so i remember miles to go bani there was one show and they had come to our house okay they took interview of my mom <laughs> she is so so like camera shy na but even she gave interview my brother and i also oh my god i'll insert a picture here okay <laughs> my hair cut oh my god but yeah it was a fun time eh? and i'm really proud of my dad for his hard work and his accomplishment and then moving on 2010 i enter my grade 8 grade 8 on the class 8 match what happened was i took part in josephite's idol okay oh my god ever since at the time you know indian idol um, dance in the dance or coach pra trend thi it was quite famous you know So our school decided to have our own version of Joss Fights Idol season 1 and then first round was actually a classroom at the audition round where few of the teachers would be seated and we had to go one by one and and they'll take our audition and oh my god I sang this song called Teri Or uh Teri Or from the movie Sing is King okay and that song ji abo I had practiced quite abo matlab acche se I had practiced na So after waiting for almost 30 minutes my turn finally came and then I went and I sang the song and surprisingly I got selected in the first round okay but then second round was public round which means the whole school from class 5 to 10 will actually be watching you you know so public round ma che I don't know this time I wasn't that much prepared and I wasn't that much confident and I chose to sing a very like difficult song which is uh dil hum hum kare ghabrai this song i don't know why because uh, like my mom used to listen to old is the purano songs and all no so i thought oh i'll sing this song you know and lyrics when i didn't know okay one of my junior uh, she helped me with the lyrics and uh, uh so yeah i went with a paper on the stage and i sang this song oh my god i remember my voice cracking up okay my classmates everybody was making fun of me for i don't know how many uh, months after that thing okay obviously i didn't get selected for the josephites idol uh, public round match i got keep on i got out obviously you know but there were so many other singers who sang so much better than me okay but yeah that's my one fun memory of josephite's idol and then apart from that oh 
there's one sad incident which happened in class eight okay that is uh one time i was like body shamed by a teacher and that also a female teacher okay uh what basically happened uh, i had a very um what do you call that i had a senior with whom i was very close and both she and i you know we used to love dancing okay and then one time uh our like um our school was about to participate in an inter-school competition where they had to take a certain act and we came to know that in that act there will be like a dance performance also no so me and the senior okay uh, we both you know talked and we both decided oh let's go and talk to uh, this particular teacher female teacher and let's tell her that we are interested to participate in that dance okay so after school both she and I we go to uh, this teacher and she tells my this senior okay you know you you come you come for the dance uh, and then she looks at me okay she looks at me she scales my body from head to toe okay she scales my body from head to toe and she literally you know i still remember the exact words that she told me at the time she looks at me and she's like uh sange uh for you i don't think you'll be able to do this dance uh you do one thing uh, you go for the choir choir is like a singing group okay i was like dumbfounded okay because see i have always been chubby my whole life so that also taught me now that i think about it like we as an adult we have to be quite mindful of what we say to our younger brothers and sisters okay especially if you are a teacher what you say to your students because that really impacts them that really impacts the way that they look at themselves the way that they go on with their life okay so i was so hurt i was really like my heart really literally broke broke okay so yeah that was a little sad incident but you know as i said na my life ko motto is be positive i took that um, message i took that incident in a very positive manner and i'm so glad that i never gave up on dancing eh uh, so yeah <laughs> but yeah that happened okay 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 another incident is when i was in class 6 eh na nah, i wanted to be vegetarian okay, but then uh, how i converted back to being a non vegetarian che what happened was in class 7 only or class 7 ko winter break ma i felt sick so i was suffering from cold and flu okay and then after almost a week of you know being sick my mom was like you know i was like i was quite recovering after a week of getting sick and you know? so my mom was like you know you've just been staying indoors for so many days uh now today let's go to a mela and we go to the mela okay i play this uh, mickey mouse ka car and then uh, after some time my mom is shopping for some baskets and all in that mela but then suddenly the smell of that you know barbecue meat it enters my nose and then i just i just remember feeling unconscious and i was calling for my mom i was calling my mom like ama ama okay like that and i fainted and i don't remember how i reached home okay but my mom always shares that it was really traumatizing for her and she kind of like blamed herself that you know instead of just keeping me home she took me to that mela and you know she was like she she was so scared that you know she might lose me that day okay so it was really traumatizing for my mom also but then yeah after that incident um my both paternal and my maternal grandmothers they scolded my parents okay they were like you know we are born into this family like uh, who eats meat matlab hami je masu am log mas khane wale jaat mein janme hai so why are you not giving your child enough meat like protein you know so because she is not having enough protein in her body uh, she has become weak and all that blah 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 like that and i was you know kind of like uh, compelled to start having beef ka soup and all and yeah like that i guess i recovered after having beef soup and then uh, class 8 me uh, i remember from our school i was selected uh, for this bharat scouts and guides camping in shillong so we went to shillong in our school it was compulsory to be a scouts or a guide from class 5 to class 10 
uh, the camping was for almost 10 days so we went to Shillong and I had a really uh, fun time out there because it was my first time ever going to another North East state and then after coming back from that camping I remember in that same winter of 2010 uh, my grandfather he passed away so uh, my paternal grandfather he passed away okay my I never got to meet my maternal grandfather because he passed away very very uh, young like when my mom was just 17 or 18 he passed away okay but then with my uh, paternal grandfather I have lots of memories with him and uh, I remember like you know uh, being very close with him and yeah so I was really sad when my paternal granddad passed away Okay, moving on, 2011, I was in class 9, na. Right? Now, class 9, ma, how old I am? Okay, 14 years or just old. And, like, okay, so, mojini like, from my childhood days till class 8 or someone, I was never interested in boys, okay? The only boy that I was interested was Justin Bieber, yeah. <laughs> in my eyes, Justin Bieber was the only cute guy in this planet and I had no interest in other guys, okay? And then uh, I remember things changing a little bit when I reached class 9. It It is also probably because, you know, I'm in my teenage years. And now, but you, what we say in Nepali, you, Hawali chuni umer ke, oh my God. In class 9, <laughs> class 9, I had my first crush. Oh my God. I remember this crush was from another school. So I had met him uh, in some festival, festival, you know, some occasion, my baby could hear, okay? And uh, I like I I saw him. I found him to be very cute, you know. But then, sadly, he was not from my school. He was from another school. I forgot a lot of things from my past, okay? But I remember once or twice we had even texted from my mom's uh, uh, phone. At the time, we had that tech tech phone, no? So. Yeah, but it wasn't anything deep or anything serious because first of all, you know, uh, we were in different schools and uh, uh, unlike right now, unlike these days, we did not have any social media, we did not have, you know, our personal phones. So there was obviously lack of communication, you know, lack of communication. Tha. So I don't think that went on for a long time. Okay, But then, yeah, I remember um, that was my first ever crush in class nine. And then another incident which I recall from class nine is earthquake. Oh my God, earthquake occurred in September 18th of 2011. I clearly remember it was a Sunday, okay. Uh, I had a economics, I had an economics paper, like economics test the next day, that is Monday. So I remember studying for that economics test. And as soon as I finished studying, you know, that night we were supposed to have dinner at my grandma's place, okay. So my mom had already left around an hour ago to help uh, at my grandma's mass place to cook dinner and all that and my brother and I we were like supposed to come after some time so as soon as I finished studying I closed my economics uh, copy and I was heading towards the door kitchen I was going and then uh, just like minutes before I recall my dog Sangwa oh I forgot to say my second pet was also a dog na? Um, so I got Sangwa from West Sikkim from my aunt's hometown and it was a black and white breed sadly i don't have a picture of sangwa rais okay? but then yeah i got her in class six and uh, so sangwa chibairo barandama we had tied her she was like barking so much and uh, i was wondering why sangwa is barking but uh, so what happened was as soon as i was uh, you know like going outside and i reached the kitchen door oh my god it's too ground holly okay the ground like you know the floor the house was literally shaking and the only thing that I could think of was, you know, how those the Transformer movies, dinosaurs, gorilla movies, ma, they continue when they enter the town areas and how when they are stepping, you know, the literally building and all are falling. I was literally imagining that. I was, I felt, okay, this is the end of the world. I unleashed my dog and then I went inside the kitchen and he kitchen ko dining table ke niche se niche che i uh, hid and i was like praying oh mane pe me ungre oh mane pe me ungre na so 
at the time my dad was in punjab because he was he had gone for some bodybuilding training okay so my dad he did not witness the 2011 ka earthquake i recall jab the earthquake after several minutes the earthquake khalera jab it stopped and when it stopped i uh, i hear my mom calling us from outside so what happened when the khiriche my mom was rinsing rice rice na so as soon as like the earthquake or wave hit all she could think about was her two children at home kyu so titi bela ch maile eura mother's love bhanne che ke hunda raisa bhanne i realized na so my mom even though she shouldn't be running she ran all the way from my grandma's place till our home now our grandma's home is nearly 2 to 3 minutes walk walking distance ma so she ran to jab jab samma chhe the earthquake khatam bhai sakyo thyo ni my mom chhe she had reached our home kudher hai na and she was like shouting pete kick me come out like that you know tya dekhin chhe what happened was yeah so as soon as i heard my mom's voice and that the wave khatam bhai sakyo pachi chhe i ran outside ama ama bhanda i ran outside hai na and we we three were like you know crying and hugging each other okay uh, our school was also declared holiday for three four days and then thursday ki friday ma chhe hamro school lagyo another incident happened in class 9 which was um I was elected as a vice captain of Anne's house so Anne's house is a greenhouse and then yeah like that I reached class 10 class 10 2012 eh? everybody thought that the world is going to end in 2012 I don't know how it didn't Okay 2012 class 10 it is one of the best years of my life so much memories and journey might be probably because like it was my last year in SJS and right? so i think it was around 8 or 8 or 9 of us we all wanted to go to gangtok to watch this movie yaria yaria the movie release back with you and we wanted to go to gangtok so we had to lie so sorry to mom and dad but we had to lie to them and we told them that you know from our school they are sending us to do shopping for like a particular event okay so we lied you know but that day it was like uh, school was holiday only for us to even go to gangtok was a luxury you at the time you know and <laughs> so sad yeah we went we watched yaria movie we clicked lots of pictures and all you know and then we came back you know such a fun time okay now coming back to crush eh? so i told in a class 9 ko crush was like you know because of the distance lack of communication titike it nothing happened and then in class 10 i had another crush oh my god why do we even have crush oh my god i think i was afraid in general of anybody finding out that i had a crush on someone because because of i think that fear also I never uh, I never like made it obvious. So, yeah, that was a little bit sad thing about my crush in class. Then I didn't have any crush nahi rahe. And yeah, we moved on. So, uh in 2013, in 2013, uh my board exam for class 10 happened, eh? And then board exam I pachit. I was so much engrossed in studying and, you know, sitting for the exam and the day and i passed with good marks only about how many marks are you one of nine so this to you and then in 2013 i joined another school which is my high school and that is paljnam gil girls school eh? so the thing is at first you know i wanted to study in like a government school only na because i was like oh my god my parents have you know invested so much money in my schooling so about 11 and 12 che i'll study in government school and also because i wanted to study my 11 and 12 in cbse board so class 10 till class 10 i studied in icsc board you know now class 11 and 12 i wanted to study in cbse board okay so i was initially planning on joining like a government school okay but then like one day my mom just made the suggestion that uh, don't you want to try png like i think it's good and i was like but mom you know like you know we have to pay fees and it might be a little expensive and all that but she was like no just go and sit for the entrance you know if you make it uh, then like we'll see what happens you know 
So I went and I gave the entrance exam and I was selected. Yeah, I got I got selected into the bioscience. Yeah, bioscience. I am in bioscience body school. So I got selected. Um, and then, yeah, in PNG, we had section like alpha and beta. PNG, my everything, they like to make it unique, okay? You do not have section like A and B. You have sections like alpha and beta. Oh, my God, why? And then... My parents were happy that I actually passed the entrance of PNG school. Eh, so, we will you know, make you study there. So, my parents told me that. Eh. Even my aunt and all were also really uh, happy that I uh, passed the entrance there. Eh, so, so, yeah, that's, that's how I got into PNG. And then I go to school. Eh. I am so culture shocked because... Uh, PNG is a very strict school. Okay, strict banda ke, but super strict kyo. Now, mind you, I've been studying in St. Joseph like for 12 years of my life. And though St. Joseph is also strict, na, but that school is literally like my home. I know everybody, na, but then PNG is like my new school. I don't know a lot of people. Na. Even my cousin Doji, she was in another stream. So, Abo, everything is new to me and the the strict system of the school, I was like literally culture shocked. I don't want to share a lot of details because I think we PNGites need to keep that among among ourselves. But then one incident which happened in class 11 is one time it was our physics class, our physics teacher, he had given us a problem to solve. And then at the time, Jenny, some of the girls, they were doing this Ori flame or something ka business, okay? Okay, so when the physics class, when we were solving the problems, like I was so engrossed in solving the problem that sir had given us, okay, that I did not even notice when sir che gumde gumde he had come to my desk. And then like, abo kyo? I did not even realize that the magazine che sapayile herira herira che, it had been passed onto my desk and that magazine was open on my desk okay so even though i was busy solving my physics problem i was not looking at the magazine somebody passed it to me and it was on my desk and sir was roaming so obviously sir misunderstood it and he thought that instead of solving the problem i was looking at a magazine i know so he like you know uh told me that I need to bring my guardian tomorrow and he even punished me okay I was made to kneel down in uh, front of the whole classroom like not classroom but okay, by the balcony I was made to kneel down okay which is so like I was so okay but no I was so heartbroken eh, nah? but still at the time Miruma itti kochi or a loyal teacher theory said that I did not name Costco magazine theory one era kyo, eh, nah? I just kept Numb. I was like, sir, I was not looking at the magazine. It was just open to Subhanera. But then, obviously, I can understand sir ko point of view pani at the time because abo, he does not know nita that magazine was passed. Subhanera. It was open on my desk, so he thought I was looking at it. So, yeah, there was a big misunderstanding and because of which he told me to bring my guardian. That time, I was living at my cousin's place. So I go back home and I, I I'm like I crying I'm crying and I share this instant with my uncle and he was like don't cry you know like I will uh, write an application to the sir and you know he will understand like that like that but then uh, I had to call my parent and I saw the parent like Lino Banikitio so I called my mom and I shared her sister boy sister boy and my mom was also like about she also felt sad but she was like give me sir's number I'll try to talk to him sister Banera and then somehow from one mutual friend I got sir's number number i gave it to her and my mom talked to sir isanta she she had told him that you know uh, she lives far away eh? uh, she runs uh, she runs her own shop okay at the time my mom had uh, stopped running hostel so my mom ran hostel only till when i was in class 5 and then from class 6 she started another business which is like her shop eh, so she did a little bit emotional blackmail on sir ki like you know sir abo her father is also on duty. He also works very far and he works in police. So he won't get holiday. Even I have a shop to run and, you know, 
सो यो कर इट्स माई फर्स्ट टाइम माई किड माई किड वॉज सी माई 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 डॉटर शी वॉज सींग दैट यू नो एक्चुअली इट वॉज समवन एल्स का मैगजिन एंड शी वॉज नट इवन लुकिंग एट दैट मैगजिन इस जो है सो सर वॉज अंडरस्टैंडिंग आफ्टर हि टॉक विथ माई मॉम हई एंड देन नेक्स्ट डे आई जस्ट हेड टू टेक डायरी में अपोलॉजी एप्लीकेशन फ्रॉम माई अंकल अंकल ने साइन कर एंड सर साइन डेड and then so told me you know from next time onwards don't repeat the same mistake and i just felt sorry for myself because uh more your misunderstanding like that i had to go through that whole situation the whole two three days it was so traumatizing for me you know because i was all alone ke all alone khalki feel bhayo malai na and at that time i did not have like that close friends also na because that school is like a new place to me so yeah all that happened but then uh, i again took that incident in a positive note and later on i actually joined that sir ko uh, what do you call that coaching center not his coaching center but there was a coaching center where sir was teaching physics and since i did not have maths you know uh, i had to work extra hard on my physics so i remember taking tuition uh, in that coaching center where sir was teaching and uh, yeah my physics actually improved after that because uh, i took that incident on a positive note and i was like i will prove to sir that i am a good student okay so yeah be positive hey eh? <laughs> so yeah that happened in 2013 hey eh? and then yeah, in 2013 i also got my first cell phone it was a uh, like this sliding wala cell phone and it was actually a hands me down hand me down cell phone from my uncle my uncle had just bought a new samsung ko touch screen wala cell phone okay so he had this old cell phone hai na and that cell phone ko lagi pani uh, my uncle they had to uh, call my dad to my uncle's home and dad ko bara pura permission liyera matai after taking permission from my dad only uh, i got the cell phone <laughs> my dad at first was like you don't need cell phone you know like if there's any emergency you can uh, look at it from the uncle's phone or aunt's phone and you know? but then i was like no dad you know uh, sometimes i have late tuitions and sometimes we need to uh, to search certain informations on google and all that so i need cell phone okay like that we persuaded my dad and then in class uh, 11 slowly slowly now che abo i was getting used to my new school my new environment new friends and and then i met a lot of uh, friends at that time who was actually uh, good in singing you so i uh, naturally bonded with them and uh, like since i mentioned eh, i was interested in singing but i never found like a like a solid friend group which where people actually sang you so now in png uh, i had found friends who was actually into singing so i was also kind of like inspired by them and uh, i also started singing you know and then in in 2013 i also started watching korean dramas so the cousin uh, my cousin ka home where i was living in like i said eh mo bistari bistari i started watching korean dramas actually mere junche cousin sister she was uh, she actually at the time i think she was pursuing her higher studies somewhere or i don't know maybe she was working or at that time so she was not at home my cousin sister she had like a whole bunch of collection of you know korean drama and japanese drama ka cds okay apparently when she was in school and college she was a big fan of korean drama and also uh, our school my high school it used to be off on both saturdays and sundays and so every uh, saturday and sunday whenever i had free time after completing all of like my school work and all that i used to uh, take out uh, any korean drama cd from her collection and then i used to play it on the dvd or sometimes on like my cousin brother's laptop you know and then i used to watch i remember uh, watching few of the korean dramas at the time like my girlfriend is gumi ho you know my girlfriend is gumi ho dream high dream high boys before flowers eh boys before flowers playful kiss and chani so yeah my actually korean drama ka addiction started in 2013 when i was in class 11 okay and then in that same year 2013 we had like a grand children day celebration our school um they had invited one boy band from holy cross school allow 
and those guys were quite talented okay they performed songs they danced and later on they were even like our school even played dj and all of the girls in our school uniform we were dancing in the ground you know uh, some of the teachers they were even like splashing water and so water dance or gorilla we had so much fun i remember dancing so hard that my shoe and so my shoe coach my jutai fatyo my shoe torn because i was dancing so hard okay and then 2013 ma che abo whenever chutti haru the weekend ma be it like summer break or uh a uh, puja break i used to come back to my home you know and then at the time che in our home there was one brother his name was navin bhaiya so navin bhaiya i think he was from north india only like, i forgot exactly but he had actually come to sikkim to learn guitar from a sir who was living in singtam okay but he wanted to live in a very quiet environment where he could you know focus on his guitar learning process so every week ma once che he used to go to Sing- and he used to learn guitar and then once stay or a holiday much when i came in you know, at the time che our dad had also built a new gym um 2013 much my dad had also um, uh, like you know started a new gym in our basement last floor my you know so the gym ko hamro opening thyo ki something your occasion ma che uh, since i was about i like i mentioned na mo so i was slowly getting into singing and all na mo guitar gaunde the and the, my dad was like oh we have this brother who plays guitar and my daughter who sings so why don't you to do a duet and sing song banera so i remember singing this song thousand years from uh yo twilight movie kal insert a picture in huh? and then uh, tyo gana gai and then that class 11 ko winter break ma che uh, i remember learning guitar from navin bhaiya so he taught me chords like a e d i i had to learn that a e d chords for a week i was like navin bhaiya when are we going to learn another chord or something and like new but he was like no sange pehle aapko ye sikhna padega to ha my bhane parda che my first guitar guru was navin bhaiya <laughs> so thank you navin bhaiya wherever you are right, for teaching me basic guitar thing and then moving on 2014 i am in class 12 hey right? i reach class 12 and then in class 12 uh, from our school 14 girls we were selected to participate uh, represent in sikkim in nssi so mai so sochta khere che mo che curricular activities ma pani purai ab active thyo rahe cha kyo so hamro school sikkim bara che they actually took 14 boys and 14 girls 14 boys che another school bara thyo and then 14 girls from our school hai and then uh, we went to arunachal arunachal pradesh ko itanagar nearest the engineering university engineering college in the nearest yeah we went there we had like a one week long camp and oh my god i i wish i was vlogging you at the time i wish you this vlog culture was there at the time i would have documented so many memories because it was a really 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 like you know fun time out there and you know it was kati maza ko thyo and along with me i had another friend sweetie mitai and the sweetie mitra moche we were living in same pg at the time so uh, both of us we got selected and uh, and the day the kinche uh, we had so much fun the whole traveling journey and you know, going so far to another north state and representing sikkim uh, showing our different cultural dance forms and all eh? and interacting with uh, like students from another north states and you know, it was such a fun time the nss uh, junchi camping was the, it was one of the best uh, memories of my life okay, which i will cherish forever and then teachers day ma we performed a michael jackson dance and our choreographer was uh, miss tenzing yega no, miss tenzing yega ne mere sath hai tenzing yega but then yeah she was our choreographer and it was me sharab mandira sonam gitanjali kunjang we performed the michael jackson dance <laughs> Oh my god we had to borrow like the blazer from our guy friends in high secondary okay so oh my god <laughs> mg dance <laughs> but it was a fun time and then um 
yeah 2014 ko january ma che actually before starting my school year i went on a i went with my family like my mom and her sisters to kolkata so this was my first trip to kolkata you guys watched my kolkata trip from last year eh, na that was my that was my second time visiting kolkata the first time was back in 2014 eh and um, to be like i was not supposed to go okay it was like my mom she was supposed to go with her sisters but what happened was uh, the night before my mom and her sisters were about to go me and my brother like we fought we fought so badly okay like hatta pai khalki we fought and my mother realized that oh no i'll be gone for a week and this too they are going to fight like cats and dogs so it's better that you know i take one of them with me so since i was the younger one my mom decided to take me so yeah that's how i got to go on my kolkata trip okay and then 2014 ko winter winter the key you know i had to go for a board exam tuition winter tuition eh? and then 2015 me board exam happened uh, oh my god I remember working so hard for the board exam. Hey, just imagine no gan talk. It's so cold during the winters. Hey, I was living at my another cousin's house hello at the time, you know. I I had to wake up around 3 3:30 in the morning. I remember uh, having cold coffee, a cold coffee, a black coffee so much because abo kyo in order to feel fresh, you know. And then in the morning I used to um practice my uh, physics and chemistry notes from tuition eh? and then for the day time I, i used to go for physics and chemistry tuition and then evening i used to study my bio and then english nepali बोर्ड एग्जाम में बहुत मेहनत किया है और अच्छा मार्क्स भी आया विच आई एम प्रिटी मच सेटिस्फाइड है ना एंड आफ्टर आवर बोर्ड एग्जाम चाहिए अब टू थ्री मंथ्स तक बस्ने थे है सो द कॉमन एंट्रेंस टेस्ट वॉज अबाउट टू कम एंड देन माई पेरेंट्स वॉन्टेड मी टू टेक ट्यूशन फॉर दैट है सो आई अलॉन्ग विद वन ऑफ माई फ्रेंड एट द टाइम वी टूक द एंड वी टूक द कॉमन एंट्रेंस टेस्ट को यो कोचिंग क्लास फॉर टू मंथ्स और जस्ट होला है एंड या इट वॉज अ फन एक्सपीरियंस है लाइक अब आई लर्न अ लॉट ऑफ इन्फॉर्मेशन है ना सो we sat for the common entrance test also uh, but then after giving my exams i had kind of kind of like made up in my mind that okay medical is just not for me right sir i'll just try to go to simple college bane right na so uh, after the ct ko result out bhai sake pachi chi after the ct result out na uh, there was like what do you call this ke bancha the like counseling yeah counseling was going on so obviously with my marks i didn't make it to uh, the medical school like doc- doctor ko lage chhe abo mero marks le bhaye na hai na but then uh, for other medical fields like unchan tesko baat ko aru medical fields ko lage chhe i could have still tried so uh, yeah i could have still tried but i did not want to and instead of going to the counseling that day i went to tadung college and i applied the form there and tadung college ma che uh, i easily got admission with my marks and tadung college ma che at that time um, they did not have online admission so according to our marks we were given seats you know so yeah if you have uh, i still remember in tadung college they were giving us seats like okay 90 percentage Rule number one, two, three, eighty percentage, seventy percentage, sixty percentage. So stuff you know. So yeah, that in college me, I went and I got admission in zoology. So yeah, three years in that in college, twenty fifteen to twenty eighteen. Ah, it was a fun time. But when it was about the time for us to graduate from college, I just felt. Ha, huh, college got the chance to end by okay, why? For us, my college and that it was a bit. culture shock in abani uh like the high school that i went to was super super strict and yet the college was so open eh hamile kes chhodnu pako thyo i had straightened my hair for the first time oh my god my mom told that i looked like an egg okay thyo bhayo hai na and then 
we were allowed to carry cell phones we had so many you know gap classes in between and so it was a bit culture shock for me hami two of us che we were in zoology so we were zoology ma and our other friends four five hamro group ko other friends or they were in botany you know <laughs> okay and they were in botany but then for the first one and a half year for three semesters che uh, we have like uh, both botany and both zoology students we have like combined classes and you know? so we all were together but what happened was one day we were in our lab lab hai hami mo hami tang mero aje tin char jana friends we all were sitting in you know? a lab ma and a uh, few teach, uh, few seniors they enter our class and you know? they were two three brothers and sisters and one brother um, at first like they came and uh, this brother we like i noticed this brother was okay he is you know good looking to sakal kete and he was like uh, dear you know freshers we invite you to the freshers party and all that botany students bane sister you know and then he smiled kyu he was like uh, please come like that you know and when that senior brother was smiling he was looking so cute <laughs> he was looking so cute okay and i still remember all of my friends you know we all the moment he smiled okay we all were like ke bano we all make eye contact with each other and we all were like <laughs> like i'm just have a telepathy but okay? we all have we all were feeling the same thing right so, so they went you know and we all were like ambo kya cute hai like that and this is a discuss by na and then after some time che ami group ma so we were talking and ami golf kari rakhe thyo and we all were like my other friends were also like sangi and why don't you guys come to our botany co freshers sister bane and he was like, even i was like yeah hey ami yeah let's go sister bane ra so finally the day for botany co freshers came and now see me and my friend uh, we both are like zoology students and uh, even on the, even on the freshest day also she was like sanghi hami janu ra na jo mai na what if they find out that we are zoology students you know it will be so embarrassing but i was like no 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 ke hundaina let's go hai kina bane no one will find out oh, we are freshers only is to bane ra na so we went na laach na sharam bas apna senior crush ko dekhne ke liye we all went okay we all were like we all went in that freshers and yeah it was a fun time i even participated in one talent round and top 7 ki kati sama pani pugye the na so thank god i didn't become miss freshers or anything okay because that would have been so embarrassing if later on they find out that i'm not even a botany student eh but yeah me and my this friend uh, hamiche just to see our crush senior we actually went <laughs> to a botany co freshers when we were zoology students oh my god this is a tmi that i'm sharing on internet for the first time but it is what it is <laughs> okay so yeah that happened and yeah 2015 was the year uh, i uh, started getting into k pop so 2013 ma i started getting into korean drama ina maila age batako jastai 2015 ma i remember one of my friend eh, she showed me a video of exos call me baby wolf and miracles in december okay so when i saw the first call me baby music video i was like Oh my god who are these guys i am in love you know so my first kpop group che it was actually exo eh, and not bts okay and then um in the december of 2015 i bought a guitar yeah i bought a guitar in the december of 2015 so tyo bhayo and then um i don't remember if it was 2015 or 2016 but um 2016 match uh so 2015 for my first semester i lived in pga which was near to the college but then 2016 i started living with my dad because um my dad was transferred to another department for few years so since he was also in gantok i was also in gantok we decided that you know we'll be living together you know so i was living with my dad uh 2016 2017 2018 ko half sama uh, we lived in a rent home another interesting incident which happened in i'm not really sure whether it was in 2015 or 2016 was that uh, a guy actually proposed to me oh my god <laughs> like abo 
till now you guys have learned a lot about my life story right so i've had crushes but then like i mentioned earlier i was never among the girl now i was never that type of girl who was like popular among boys or something like that okay so for me my first year of college when i like you know when a guy like a boy actually you know told that he liked me for the first time it was it was very weird okay i was just like why okay so what happened was there was one guy in our classroom and then uh i had noticed that for several days he would be you know like i would find him when wherever i am like whenever wherever i am but i would obviously be with my girlfriends right and one of my friend okay she was like she's very pretty so and she receives a lots of attention from guys and all okay so naturally i had noticed that guy used to stare at our group and all that and i had thought i had thought that okay this guy might be interested in my you know friend only you know so like i was used to you know with that kind of scenario okay so but um this guy uh, adds me on facebook and we are just like talking as friends but then he starts doing certain activities which is a little bit like you know uh what do you call that little bit he's trying to be a little bit more than a friend and one day he's like you know i like this like this okay but then i was just like uh I actually started ignoring him from that day which is so bad of me so and also like you know when you remain single for so long no you are not like it takes a lot from you to be actually you know be interested in someone or even think of being in a relationship with someone okay because you are so comfortable in your own space and being in a relationship would be like you have to share your personal space with another person so i don't really know yeah that is the story of my life hey jati pani 2017 dekhi ko agari ko incidents aru i have shared about don't let obviously about you ka almost 19 20 years ko incident ta ka share garnu sakcha but then some glimpses i've shared with you guys and i hope you all enjoyed you know listening to my story and watching this video and even this you know made a first episode of podcast where i used specially a mic eh? so i hope you all enjoyed watching this video and once again thank you so much for watching happy diwali have a safe diwali okay and ओ या दिवाली भन्दा चाहिँ नि एउटा कुरा मैले भन्नै बिर्सेछ सो एभ्री इयर अन दिवाली फ्रम क्लास सिक्सदेखि क्लास नाइनसम्म चाहिँ इन दिवाली आउट हियर स्पेसियली अमङ लाइक द नेपाली हिन्दू के भन्नु नेपाली हिन्दू कम्युनिटीमा चाहिँ जुन चाहिँ दिवाली दिवालीमा चाहिँ भैलिनी एन्ड देउसी लाइक दे इज अ काइन्ड अफ लाइक अ फेस्टिवल भैलिनी एन्ड देउसी विच दे प्ले टू डेज in a row okay and on that day they go to separate separate places and you know they sing they give blessings to that particular home and that uh, home ka owner will give them money and all okay so abo i'm a abo i'm a buddhist and eh, we usually don't have that celebration but then abo since everybody used to celebrate as a kid and you know, even i wanted to celebrate so during diwali je i used to i i did not i did not like playing that bhailini ayo you know? hina i was more of a tomboy kyo so i like to do boys and all ka boys and all karne kaam ro i like to do and i used to play devsure ke and i used to be like my ke bhanu team ko leader child ko chhasa jana group ro the jisko leader che i used to be and then i used to disguise myself as a guy and from 6 to 9 pm we used to roam to different different uh, homes and we used to play devsure <laughs> and i used to be the leader and we used to earn money like 800 900 1000 rupees and uh, i used to keep the like you know the uh, like higher share of money so from uh, if we are like five or six people i used to keep uh, 200 rupees since i am the leader in a bhatiyone i am and then other uh, others leche 100 180 80 rupees is so rupees and i did that for like 
till class nine or some I used to play na. But then from class ten che about the dikai mala saram lakhnu thaliyo na saram lakhnu thaliyo. I used to feel embarrassed, so I stopped playing their siri. And during Diwali's, I actually used to hope that my dad would not come home <laughs> because my dad he did not allow me to go like go and play their siri that late at night. No, so my dad did not allow. But my mom used to be like, oh, get a get you, you know, let them play, okay. Uh, but my dad. He did not used to allow. So every Diwali, I used to hope that my papa would say, "Kahi duty paros bani na during the Diwali times." So yeah, that was one fun incident that I recall, just recall. Okay. So yeah, with that being said, happy Diwali once again. Thank you for watching this long podcast. I don't know how long it is, and please, my uh, comment section, ma, let me know what are the different other topics eh, that you would want me to talk about in my future podcasts. I might do this occasionally. Hey, eh? I really enjoyed sharing some glimpses of my life, ka story with you guys, and hope you guys also found some similarities or just enjoyed listening to my story as a whole. And with that being said, I'll end today's uh, video or today's podcast here itself, and I'll see you guys in my next video, which I don't know when I'll be posting. But yeah, please stay tuned, and you know, thank you so much for all the love and support. Bye.